Hey guys, you want to hear about the most useless survivor in all of Dead by Daylight? No? Well, you're about to. <laughs> I can't do it. I can't do it, guys. Normally, I'd have some cool epic introduction for the character. Uh, like, some kind of cool backdrop to establish the character's backstory, their goal, or their motivations. But this guy, Ace Visconti, dear lord, I just can't do it. There's nothing about this guy worth respecting or worth enjoying. He's a stupid gambler who got into so much debt he ended up running away from the mob and every other money lending group he owed money to, and then suddenly disappeared into the entity's realm. Yeah, that's that's pretty much his whole bio. What? You wanted me to go deeper than that? Okay, sure. Yeah, he does have a tome backstory. Wanna know what happens in that? Oh, it's it's phenomenal. Apparently he's in this bar right with his buddy, and he sees this woman MMA champion. His buddy challenges Ace to a double or nothing bet to win. Ace has to last five minutes in a grudge match with this MMA lady champ. Ace thinks he can do it, he takes the bet, and then the next four tomes all just describe the same damn thing. The time seems to go way slower than it feels like it should, Ace keeps getting beaten to a pulp, but he refuses to get up, never lands a single hit on MMA lady, and keeps getting back up until he finally wins the bet and stays down, like, and stays standing. <laughs> That's it. That's the tone. <laughs> I feel so bad for any Ace fan out there who had to suffer their way through earning those tomes because that had to be disappointing. It doesn't reveal anything about Ace. Like, maybe why does he have an addiction to gambling? We could talk about that. Why does he always feel confident in his own bets? Who did he owe money to? Was he ever in a relationship? When did he start gambling? What led to that? In the tomes, they mention he has a lucky alligator tooth and he doesn't want to lose it. So what's the story there? Where did he get that? Who gave it to him? Why is he so desperate not to lose it? What's, why does it have value to him? He says he doesn't like doctors. Okay, why? Is he a terminal patient? Is there some disease he's afraid of getting? Did he have a bad experience with them? Jesus, talk about a lot of words with a lot of nothing to them. His whole bio is just Ace is a high-risk gambler who's willing to take any risk and his luck rubs off on the other survivors. That's it. Ooh. I'm so impressed. Yeah, sorry, I can't take this dude seriously. There's this DVD YouTuber who is currently doing a poll series about who's the most hated survivor, and I voted for Ace as soon as he popped up, just from reading his bio alone. It's just lame. The dude has nothing to him. At least with the other survivors, there was some kind of meat to them. You could look at them and say, oh, well, that, like, for example, you could take Claudette. You know, lots of people like to make fun of Claudette, but at least there was something to her, some kind of passion, a drive that led her into botany and learning about bugs and plants and stuff like that. You could see it with Meg. It was her tenacity to never give up, to keep fighting, to keep going. It just feels like, come on, there's so much you could have done. A gamblers are very interesting characters. You could have done a lot of study and dive into who he is, what got him started gambling, all that kind of stuff, but no, you didn't. But if you think that his backstory's lame, wait till you hear about his perks. Ace's unique perks are open-handed, up the ante, and ace in the hole. Open-handed basically increases the range of want or reading ability for your whole team. Yeah, I guess that's useful when hiding and seeking or when at the start of the round, but that's about it. And it also doesn't stack, so, oh well. Up the ante gains a token for each survivor still in the trial. For each token, the survivors all gain up to 3% luck advantage during the trial for a maximum of 9% luck. Now, you might be thinking to yourself, how does luck work? Luck basically affects your odds of unhooking yourself from a hook or freeing yourself from a bear trap. 
It has no impact on your ability to find rare items or materials in game or how much progression is done on generators through skill checks. So in other words, if you have maxed up at the ante, that means everyone in the trial has a 9% better chance of freeing themselves from a hook, assuming all survivors are still in the match. Pinch me, I'm dreaming. Oh man, Santa Claus came early this year with that perk. The only perk he has is, that I really do like is Ace in the Hole. If you find an item in the world, there will be a 100% chance of it already coming with a very rare add-on attached to it, and a maximum 50% chance of a second add-on of uncommon rarity or lower being attached. This is the only perk that I think has any real merit because it can give you an edge if you find the right quality of item to help push the team to victory. But again, that's the only one that I think is any good. The other two, I, I wouldn't bother running them. There are such better survivor perks out there that could totally give you an edge. Why would you ever run them? But other than those, Ace is ultimately useless. A gambler can be a very fascinating character, as I said before, because gambling often starts somewhere. A need for money, a desire to rise above one station. Like, for example, the bio hinted that he came from a poor as dirt upbringing. Explore that. Why did he feel like gambling was the way to success? Did he, have, did he not have luck in college or... Maybe he couldn't afford to go to college, so he started gambling to make money. Or maybe he won a lottery ticket one day. He won a lottery ticket and thought, wow, I gambled and won. I'll bet I could do that more. There could be lots of ways you could explore what led him to gambling. There's a whole story there that we're just missing. The consequences of gambling take their tolls. The wins. The wins lead to more gambling, which then leads to sudden losses, which then leads to consequences. There is a story in Ace waiting to be told, but instead they tossed it in favor of him getting his face turned into a hamburger by a lady MMA fighter. And just so you know, the, the little clip that they play of him getting his butt kicked, have they watched an MMA fight before? Have they watched fights before? This looks nothing like a fight. What a waste of a bio and a waste of a character with only one perk that's worth grinding for. But I guess when you're an eldritch entity of pure evil, I guess you can't be choosy about who you trap in your realm, can you? I'm sorry this one probably wasn't as entertaining or deep as my others, but I tried my hardest to really read through his bio and find something of merit to really dig into, but there's nothing there. Hopefully the killer that came out with him will be more interesting, so tune in next time into the fog when we talk about the hag. Thank you guys so much. And I'll see you in my next video. Take care.